YouTube, what is going on guys? This is a video that I had in the chamber for a long time. Um, so this one doesn't have the live vo voiceover, but that's all right. You know, we got a few of these. Um, you know, a little diversity is nice. So anyways, um, we're cutting the top and uh, I'm doing vertical sections and I'm just kind of adding texture. He asked for texture in the um, consultation. And so that's pretty much what we're focused on. We're not looking to make it super even, although um on some of these sections i did make it you know a little bit more even if i saw um some inconsistencies but mostly we were looking to add texture so once we've done that i'm using the new and this uh what is it a, a gtx uh something i forget the name but um they were pretty good i was testing them out they were pretty good they were sharp i love the ergonomics on them um but I like my skeletons man so we, we went back to the skeletons to debulk and um we, we'll probably go back to those gtx's just to test them out um but uh we we went ahead and used my old faithfuls to uh debulk or ball them out all right so once we think we have a nice uh initial guideline and it's even all the way around we'll follow it up with the shaver to get it nice and light nice and tight I'm using the, the Babyliss FX3 shaver. And my client here, um, this this is the second time he's been to the shop, but the first time he came, his boy was getting his, his uh, hair cut. He's a really cool dude, man. Um, he's He comes from uh, from Canada, planning on moving to the States, and uh, just, a, just a really good conversation every time he comes into the shop, him and his boys. So... Um, so anyways, we went ahead and we started with the, the blade all the way open and now I'm going to go ahead and bald, uh, take out the bald line. We're going to start with clipper all the way closed and open it little by little until it's blended out. And what I mean by little by little is every quarter of an inch, we're opening the lever a quarter of the way. Pretty simple. Um, and as you go up, you should get to the point where you're all the way open. And that's what we use to create this section anyways, this guideline, this next guideline that we have here. So. By doing this before you move on, you should be able to stay um, well organized and not have like a super choppy, super uneven uh, fade. And we're just gonna do this all the way around, especially here in the back, you really wanna take your time because sometimes it can look super dark here in the back as you're moving towards the occipital bone, which is that bone that kind of sticks out in the back. Um, so just be careful there, make sure that it's nicely blended, it's not super dark. And then we're gonna do the same thing here on this side. you guys can see i'm not i'm not super rushing like i'm i'm taking my time at each section because if i don't that's just more work i'm gonna have to do a little bit later on um now it doesn't have to be super perfect but uh we definitely want it to look good enough to move on because again the more imperfections the more you're gonna have to detail towards the end even though I like spending a lot of time detailing, um, you can stay efficient by trying to create the best possible product um, in each section um, without having a finished product, right? So I had to pause the mic because I, I sneezed. All right, so while we're here, we're going ahead and blending in uh, the beard, just using the blade open um, length. I like look at my boy in the background man he has scooted up because the conversation was getting good at that time so he had scooted up we were talking and uh yeah like i said we like we was in there talking business and stuff and one of the things that i i realized man um the type of person you are the type of barber you are the type of interest that you have and your values you you tend to attract that type of clientele you know so it's it's an interesting world the barbering world man and and that's one thing that i love about it you 
you know what you put out in a barbershop is what you kind of get back that energy and like our barbershop man we always talking stocks and investing and um just growth man just growth family and growth man so all right so that was the one and a half guard and we use that to create that next section um here we're using the half guard all the way open it open and then we're closing it little by little so i didn't use a one guard you can use a one guard but in this particular clay case we went straight to the half guard from the one and a half and that blended it right out um now you could go back and use the one guard to do a little bit of detailing and get a little bit more of a transition into that one and a half guard but i think that um with a little bit of experience you could probably skip that one guard and do the half all right and this is going to be a little bit tougher because again this is where the occipital bone is where the the the, the head shape starts to kind of like protrude a little bit and so you're probably going to have to spread it out a little bit more in this section and just try to get um try to get this dark area here lighter so what you might see me doing and i'm not 100 sure is i'll probably go closed with this half guard and it'll still look dark in that area so i'll probably have to drop down to the blade open just like you see here i knew it and uh, close it little by little until it gets light enough to where it matches the sides of his head the fade on the sides of his head All right, we're gonna do the same thing here on this side. And then you can see on this side that I, I, I um that I would hop back to that number one guard. Um and then this side I did the same. And I think it was just because I saw a little bit of a line, and that's fine. Um but I didn't have I'm not gonna have to use the one guard as much as I, as I would have had to had I went straight to the one guard instead of the half guard, right? All right, so at this point, we ju jumped up to that number three guard, and you can tell that I am at a number three because of the color guide on the bottom left corner. And uh, we're using this to kind of debulk and not create another line, but debulk and kind of blend into how dark it is at the very uh, top of the side of the head. Uh, we're hoping to just kind of blend right into the top. Underneath that number three guard, we went and went ahead and jumped to that number two guard all the way open. And then we're going to close it little by little as we go down, the lower we go down um, to the side of his head. Now, it should be blending as we're going down. The blend should be coming together. And I think that the final step to bring it all together before we line it up and we go back and we detail is jumping to that one and a half guard. As you can see, this red one and a half guard all the way open and then closing that little by little. Um, you might hop back to that one guard open and do some detailing, um, but you really don't have to. What you would want to do is just go go ahead and line him up, and then that'll put your picture in a frame, allow you to see things a little bit better, and then get a really nice detailed cut. And you can see that I did go to that one guard. I even went drop down to that half guard. See, this is like watching game tape um, because it, it shows me where I could have sped up the cut. I could have just went to the lineup and then hopped back to this this portion and it would have took less time less detail because I would have seen the cut a lot better um, and what you're gonna see is the fade looks good but you, what you're gonna see is I'm gonna line them up and we're gonna see a lot more imperfections after the lineup All right, so you guys can see we're using those new Andis trimmers and they hit, man. 
They really do hit. I don't think they have as much power as the skeletons. Personally, that's how I feel about them. I'm not sure what the specs are on them, but damn, they hit and damn, they feel good. In the hand. One of the things that I definitely want to do is I really want to get my um, my hands on that new iPhone 13 because between the iPhone 13 and the voiceovers, uh, not the voice, the live voiceovers, I feel like it'll bring my content to the to a whole nother level. What do you guys think? Because the iPhone 13 camera, man, I, I played with it and that camera is crazy. So I, I got to get the upgrade. I just haven't had the time. Right, so now we are detailing the cut after the lineup and you can tell that you can see that I switched to a different clipper I love doing this um, if you can relate let me know but I love doing this to detail the cut Right, we're using the 245 triple cartridge razor. This is the green color. I think it comes in like four four different colors. We got black, red, blue, green. We probably have some other colors. We probably got like yellow and stuff too. Pretty sure. But that you guys know, man, the razor is is necessary to get that cut to the next level. <laughs> it's so funny watching me trying to line him up while he's talking. <laughs> I kept I kept lining him up because I felt confident I would I'd be able to get it done while he's talking. I wasn't gonna stop him from talking. Conversation was good, so uh, and I was confident I wasn't gonna mess him up. So it is what it is. <laughs> but I, I've trust me, I've seen the memes about about this right here. And I know for some of you guys, it's definitely making you, uh, making your anxiety go crazy. Uh. <laughs> All right, so at this point, we're gonna go ahead and style the hair. Do some finishing touches here. Make sure he likes the cut. I think it looks pretty damn good, personally. And I even went back after styling the cut with a number four guard to make sure that the ridges were nice and clean from a front and a back profile. Guys, that was the before. This is the after. Let me know what you guys think about the cut in the comment section. I hope you guys learned something new. And as always, I appreciate y'all. And I look forward to keep, continue to create some more content. Please smash the subscribe button and the like button. And I'll see you on the next video, y'all. Blurred.